I don't suggest following this tutorial unless you've already followed a bunch of other tutorials to learn the essentials of Blender. Good morning! So recently I've been seeing a lot of little kids on YouTube making Blender tutorials for Gorilla Tag. How to make your own profile picture, how to make an animation, all that good stuff. But the only issue is that none of these kids know how to use Blender properly. So me being the Blender pro that I am, <laughs> What am I doing in my life, bro? I'm gonna teach you guys how to make an actual Gorilla Tag profile picture using Blender, of course. And I'm not gonna give you guys unnecessary information other than like to join the channel membership right now. Yeah, let's get started. Step one, open Blender. We'll be using version 3.6 long-term support for this one, which can be found on Steam. Step two, install the blend file in the description. This is the rig. Step three, open it. I'm gonna get straight to the point here. This guy sucks. So let's make him look better. We're gonna wanna get rid of this background. World properties right here. Go to, go to color. Brightness slash contrast. I'm gonna wanna turn all this down. Perfect. Click on our monkey. Materials. And turn color emission to zero. Head over to material preview. Set subsurface to 0 0.023. Just trust me on this. Glossy color, white, and glossy strength to 0 0.15. All right, we're getting somewhere. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, while you have your monkey selected, go down to modifiers. Click the blue wrench, add modifier, and scroll down to subdivision surface. Then you're gonna scroll down click simple and levels you make sure levels viewport and levels render is are both set to two next thing you're gonna want to do right click on your monkey shade flat to make sure it's calibrated and then shade smooth doesn't look like much has changed but then if we go over here you can see that our smoothness is now much smoother than it was i'll show you what it looks like without not smooth smooth Go back to material preview, click on your monkey's name, go to edit mode, do everything, and just set it to whatever you want. For me, it'll be white. Make your name bigger, because it looks better in thumbnails. After it's scaled up, you're gonna head over to render properties up here, and set render viewport, I recommend 16. And then make sure ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are on. Underneath bloom, turn up your threshold to 10, intensity to one, click on your name, materials, and turn it up until it's just barely glowing. Like that, you can see a little bit of glow around it. Head over to render properties, scroll all the way down, and make sure view transform is set to filmic and look to very high contrast. Oh, and control S to save, by the way. And then output properties. Set frame rate to either 60 or 30 FPS. I'll stick with 60. In output, in this little output folder right here, click this and set it to whatever folder you want. For me, it's gonna be downloads. So then make sure file format, set the FFmpeg video with RGB on. Encoding, MPEG4, copy all these. Audio codec, MP3, stereo, yada yada. All right, now that that's done, we can head over to render viewport. Or if you want, you can just click Z and hit eight. It's pitch black, you can't see our monkey. Either go up to add or click shift A, add a light, point light, and let's see what our monkey looks like. All right. So let's change our monkey to a more vibrant color, like red. That already looks great. Oh, and one thing to mention, if you want more um, shine on your monkey, set this to 0 0.2. That's a lot more. But 0 0.15 looks more natural in my opinion. So I'm gonna crank up these lights. All right, now we're getting somewhere. And another tip from Mr. Smoke, if you want to make it look like your gorilla has rim lighting without it having actual lighting, scroll onto a glossy color, you can set it to like whatever you want. So like if you want like, so you can make, make some really cool combinations. You can make it green, you can make it even more red if you wanted to. You can make it whatever you want, as long as it's not like too crazy. So you can get some really cool looking monkeys by combining glossy color and primary color. All right, and step two, cosmetics. You're gonna wanna go to the GitHub link in below and download those cosmetics. And if you want more cosmetics, go to Sketchfab and find them yourself. But we'll just be using the ones in the description. You're gonna wanna head up to file, import, and then .fbx. Go to wherever your cosmetics are stored, me it's gorilla tag hats on desktop and you get all these hats to choose from so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the hard glasses for right now so now head over to well, why is that sideways okay perfect if your cosmetic happens to be shaded smooth i'll tell you what it looks like so this shade smooth is what it looks like shaded flat i like to use shaded flat for cosmetics because that's what it looks like in gorilla tag so okay so let me just put this right there okay then you're gonna wanna head over to X view. Just click on that little red X up there. Select your cosmetic. And bring it up until it's right where you want it. Don't move your glasses when you first import them or like whatever cosmetic. It's in this perfect spot that you need. You just have to move it upwards to make it look like a texture. Head down to material. Hit this little yellow circle next to base color. 
image texture in this little folder. Go back to where you had your hat. Are you telling me this doesn't come with a hatless? Uh. Okay. I'll also link a um another GitHub in the description with the hatless file. It basically just gives it the textures that you want it to. And um, it doesn't really matter with cosmetics like these with like non-detailed textures. But this little thing says linear, set that to closest. I'll show you the difference in a sec. So you see this band around here? You can tell there's something there, but it's a little blurry. Because right now it's on linear. If I set it to closest, look at that. You can see the individual pixels. Like how it looks in Google Tag. Don't set it to anything else. It just looks like linear, so I'll just keep it at closest right now. So then, so then if you want to, you can just mess around with the uh, metallic and roughness of your cosmetics. What, what the heck? Okay, whatever. It looks good. All right, nice. Now we got cosmetics on the monkey. Now it's time to actually attach them to the monkey because you try to move around the monkey by clicking on the armature, going to pose mode, and moving the head. Look at that. They don't stick. What are you going to want to do? Head back to object mode. We want to click on the cosmetic you want to link first. So let's do the cosmetic. Hold down shift and click the bones, so the armature. Head to pose mode. Make sure the, if, say if it's a hat cosmetic, uh, you're going to want to click on the head bone. If it's like a bow tie, click on the body bone. If it's like a glove, click on the hands and so on. So once you have the head and the top hat selected, control P and click bone. And then it'll be parented. Then you want to do the next thing. Always cosmetic first and then armature shift click pose mode click the head control p bone if you just head back to pose mode they stick so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it with a body cosmetic just to show you the process first file import fbx desktop go to your fbx files bow tie x view drag it up image texture folder desktop Google next stuff cosmetics hat textures hatless linear closest cosmetic bone pose mode click the body bone control p bone and then it's attached all right looking good so now you've got everything parented properly it works it looks good next thing we want to do is we want to make a profile picture out of it of course so shift a add a camera and then you can either hit num numpad zero if you don't have a numpad click on this little camera button up here shift and tilde while you're inside the camera to move it around so since we're doing a profile picture head over to render or sorry head over to output properties set resolution x you can keep it at 1920 by 1080 if you want if you have like a really bad computer my computer happens to suck but a, but a single frame doesn't hurt too bad so, so if i would like to set it to 3840 by 3840 or 4k if you want same thing Next, move your camera to wherever you want. And see this right here? It says data, but it just looks like a little green camera. What I like to do for profile pictures, I like to keep the focal length a bit lower. So let me show you the difference real quick. So if you're ever taking a 0.5 on an iPhone, yeah, 0.5 on an iPhone is eight millimeters. So you know, it looks really goofy. So the lower the focal length, the more stretched out it looks and the more wide of an angle you get. And then the higher the focal length, the more flat it looks. It's like if I go all the way up to like, a thousand millimeters or one meter and go out really far. It looks really flat and he looks like a distinguished gentleman. So for, for now, I'm going to stick to uh, 20 millimeters. Zoom in. So we're at 20 millimeters. Next thing you're going to want to do, head over to like whatever viewport you want. I kept, I set the material. Select your bones. And since your hands are going to be out of frame, you don't really have to worry about their position, but they do affect the arms position. So you can like really mess around with them without having too much of an issue. So I'm just put these like down here for now. And then one thing that makes grill tag poses look really good in Blender is moving the body and moving the head to, to look different. Oh, and another tip from smoke, go back to object mode, select your camera, viewport display. If you want to see what it looks like in the render, set pass a part out to one. It just makes it so you can't see the outside so that you're not like confused by what it looks like in the end. All right, so we're looking like this. I'm going to add a bit of stuff to the background. You, got, you don't got to do this. So now, now that we got our monkey looking like this, what's next? I want you to click on your camera. Enable depth of field right here. This can make a profile picture from looking flat to looking not so flat like this. It just adds focus. 
So f-stop controls how deep the field of focus is. It's like 0 0.1, it looks goofy as heck. But then like 14.5, you don't see anything. So if you're like really close up to the monkey, like how I am right here, you're gonna wanna set it to like 5.6 so that the whole face can be in focus. You can also go lower if you want, like 2.8, which is the standard on like every camera. All right, so now we're looking like this. Make sure to hit control S and then go up to compositing. Enable use nodes. This may look daunting at first, but I'll walk you through it. I want you to hit shift A, add a viewer node, plug in this yellow dot from image into the yellow dot in viewer. And then I want you to add a uh, lens distortion node. Make sure render layers image node goes into the lens distortion image node and the lens distortion image node goes into composite in viewer. If you're only able to put it in one at a time, head up to edit, preferences, add-ons and search up node wrangler and turn it on okay so now so now we want to do what this does is adds a little bit of like chromatic aberration to the edges i'll show you the difference in a sec so like, this is what it looks like without chromatic aberration nothing too crazy just the gloss and stuff then if we hit dispersion and set it to zero point i'd do 0 0.025 so now hit render i don't know if you can tell but now it's added like a little glitch effect you don't have to turn this on. I personally think it looks good on a very, very low level because that's what it looks like on most cameras in real life. I don't know what happened here. But yeah, see this? Adds blue to the right side and like orangish yellow to the left side. That's how it looks on real camera. I think it looks pretty cool. And that's how you make your first growth like profile picture. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to animate because um, yeah, if you wanna animate, you can watch a bunch of blender tutorials on it, figure out how weight distribution works, how IK rigging works, all that. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Not Master, I'm making a grill tag blender profile picture tutorial to finally educate the masses. Please let's show them all the secrets, like the subdivide shade smooth method. Gatekeep that like externally. Bro, I included that in the recording. No!